long time, boy. something you find interesting my way of saying thanks one of my husband's friends talked about this crazy old woman that lives north of strawberry stashes weapons for her sons he said huh anyway thanks again i'm gonna get on out of here keep your head down don't trust anyone now go Stop 
hold back for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Come on, now. Hey, hey, that's my horse! Let's make this quick. Ah! Ah! Break's over, boy. <laughs> You're all right, boy. Yeah. Whoa.
was that? That's him! Let's take him out! Easy now. Yeah, good boy. Hello there. Okay there. Mister. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. 
partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Oof. Me? Look where you're going. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah! <gasps> What's with you? Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here.
Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Get on, dear boy.
be done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. It's about some money. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Hello. There he is. A bottle in your hand. There's a surprise. I'm entitled to a drink. Well, save some for the rest of us. All right. Hey, Arthur. Miss O'Shea. Hold still. Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! Hi there, this Arthur. Ain't funny. Oh, I disagree. Look. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. Ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other. <laughs> Good old Bill. Hey. I'm getting too old for this. Living in tents. On the run. By my age, I thought I'd be living on some farm somewhere. Having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another massage on my feet. Funny how things turn out. Said I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. Still. Guess all that luxury run me to fat, and there ain't no getting fat out here. Now my old hat green shawl is triple ration. Molly. Hi.
ladies. Hi. Oh, thanks. I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? I'm sure there will be soon. I'll let you know. Sure thing. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I will. Good job, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, Mr. Morgan, I bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. That's me, Daddy. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Give me some. Ask that gal to give me some. She said, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. How you doing, him in keeping? Mm -hmm. Sorry for interrupting, but I can't stand much longer over there. I mean, I love the girls, but my lord, they complain a lot. I mean, I've known worse than this. Born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone, one way or another. And here, we've usually got food. We usually ain't scared. I mean, sometimes. And we ain't never... Not here. Quite the opposite. So I'm done with the whining. I know we had a scene in the mountains, but we're over that. It's time to cheer up. All of you. That was quite a speech. Just feel like it's time they all buck back up now. I agree. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. So, uh, what happened to you and Valentine? <laughs> I don't remember too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Messy. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Hey, kid. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Dutch, you always do. How are you? That's cool, boy. Oh, th things is all right. Glad to hear. You keep your eyes open, Bill. <sighs> Good morning, Arthur.
Hey! Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. <laughs> Shit. Hey, easy now. Easy. Easy there, and easy. Take it easy there. Easy. Easy there. Whoa. Now, just a scratch. Let's go. Easy. Whoa. Did the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Okay.
Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. your hands off him. Just say to me, I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Stop right there. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? Friend! 
just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. You done with your foot! It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Come on! Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Don't mind if I do. Hey. I see he's been out there working hard again. Bill. Don't remember you ever carrying me home, Morgan. Hi, dude. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. You okay? You're too easy on him, Arthur. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Sir, everyone's favorite uncle.
Hosea. Hello. <laughs> Oh, Driscoll boy. Hello. Come on, boy. Hey, Bill. Arthur. Yeah. my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You'll be all right. Thank you. Yep. You still stirring up yeah, Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. You're getting robbed here. Don't make it worse for yourself. Get down up there now! Okay, 
boy. Yep. I got real problems. Keep your distance. Got hey, a criminal fella. here. Who's that you got? Didn't we warn you, pal? Move along. Sorry, boy. So up now. Ha! Yep.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Hey. Just... Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scalding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Okay, boy. Good. Head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
Hey, they've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I find myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Que lindo those boots you got there, eh? Mm. Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come on! Ah! 
Far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take them down. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should turn him in on ah! oh! Still time. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. 
There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. Easy.
looks like a pretty nice horse you got there. I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. Want to see how yours compares? How about a race to Awanjila? You're on, feller. All right. Let's go! Oh, this will be tough. Oh, hell. No, no. Too slow, friend. Don't give up yet. Takes more than a purse to win races. Gosh darn it! Oh, I paid good money for you! Whoa! Jesus, you're still lost. What the hell did you pay for that horse, anyway? <sighs> Enough to make you sick. Well, I'm done here. Yeah. Easy there. Yeah, that's it, boy. Yep. Thank you. 
Yeah. Stop, oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me. Can't yeah, think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just visiting. I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage, and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bes spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Remember that! We're on the path! Close to town? <laughs> Sir, 
You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Yep. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Hey there. Man, what might you be one? Fine part of the country here, huh? Oh. You sure are lucky folk to live here. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Yeah. Old Dodge's chain, Sally! Run him down! Now, come on!
Hey, listen! Uh, I just wanted to say... Arthur! Oh, oh Arthur! Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Mr. McGuire is and back! And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I you have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the a long ride back with him. You have no idea. I can imagine. <laughs> oh, nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp. I love you bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, let's 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 go. Go. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here I comes saw. trouble. It's gonna be a good you night. Mind if I join you fine folks? How of the world. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. It's stupid. So, what now? Come on, you feel all is okay. <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn. Must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire! I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, I just don't need to fall over drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> It was diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says, Young man, you're rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark well what I do say. She says, Young man, you're rather here for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well what I do say. She says, you're getting pretty nice to my diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all the day. Very nice. But how about something a little more civilized? That's good to be back. 
I even missed you. <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you. Never need one of those, uncle. I didn't think we was going to see you again. That makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Hey, Lenny. Army. Have a seat. I say you deserve a rest. How are you doing? Good. You know me. Okay, good. Okay, Arthur. I am ready to let loose tonight. Whew, been too long. Will you dance with me, Arthur? <laughs> sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. to dance doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad uh, what you think of me <laughs> sad in a good way like a romantic poet <laughs> well that's about all i can muster Mr. Morgan. Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaston. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. And the clouds roam free along the sky. Each little bird's a wild free rover. And a rover, wild and free am I. Oh, I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. Oh, with a light, light heart I roam along. With a light, light heart I roam along. The wind roams free, a wild song singing, and softly murmuring flows the stream. The bird roams free, its wild way winging, and I rove and sing with morn's first beam. Oh, I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. Oh, with a light, light heart I roll along. Oh, with a light, light heart I roll along. The good earth loves a wild for a roving bird is never dumb. No, he sings to please the dear old mother, and she I rewards him with a crumb. Oh, oh I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, and the light, light heart I roam along. Oh, with the light, light heart I roam along.
You seem better. Yeah, almost feel normal again. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. One night when I was frisky, from too much pole to whiskey, like the waves on the Bay of Biscay, I began to tumble and roar. <coughs> My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my fob was Pixar. I never get drunk anymore. Ooh. Wait, there's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. Don't I drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shut the alehouse door. Hello. That was some night. Leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you too, English. It ain't just for you. All righty. Susan. Oh, that was some night. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Sound good, Mr. Morgan. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean it. You can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Oh, no. Look. Bison. 
Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see... Tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right, lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks... Pressure. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. You find anything, Arthur? Bugs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. The bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Could be another camp. Let's go check it out.
Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can top? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <clears throat> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us <clears throat> you're dead. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. Morning. Too many folks about.
Hey there, friend. Wanna take the weight off? Fire's good and hot. Howdy. Mikasa Sukasa, friend. Thanks. So, you've got a girl, mister? Huh? What's it to you? Me neither. Got my eye on one, though. I was hunting north of Annisburg when I came across this cabin. And there's no one there but this woman. Bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Real elegant fancy type, too. So? I see how you like them, too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. M made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. Carry on. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night. Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. All right, I need to cool down a bit. It's all good. Calm down. Hey, get yourself out of there. Just minding my own business. You goddamn idiot. You don't want to see right. what happens if you don't leave. Easy now. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? 
Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Cone! Here goes your contract! Chasing it. Well, at a certain price, you don't get idiots. Stop that bastard! That one! He's going for the Gatlin! Woo! <laughs> Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay. I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs>
<laughs> Something's up. We gotta scram. Come on.
be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, a real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bo those wings. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, Anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh, man. Stupid, stupid. Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? <laughs> Here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Come on, boy. Yep. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater, Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Yeah, it worked out, I guess. Okay, I'll catch you later. Is it, uh, sure, fun? We can raise him. The only thing that makes me happy. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. All right, well, I should be getting off. Bye, Arthur. Javier? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Well, of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. 
Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Lenny. Hey, Arthur. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <sighs> Big place. See if you could spot anyone. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. The stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. What? I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Nuke? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes. I was. Gag all the nowadays, huh? Cause the Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be
What the hickory happened here? <laughs> Check in there first. Careful, Javier. Hey. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. Hey, look out, Javier. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> ah, well, look what we have here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. Down, we
my boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Hey there, mister. You must like living here. Yeah, true. Good to see you back. This poor fella been torn up. Drops the price, I'm afraid. Save my life, stranger. They won't bother Don't you no me. more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you and less of them damn O'Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really. They won't bother you no more. Catch another center bounty hunter. Take a gander at the poster there. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Well, oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan, <laughs> poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Be relentless in your pursuit. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Okay, then. That horse don't listen. There we go. Yep. Easy now. Easy. Whoa. Newspaper. Uh, they're saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. That means you kill your sweetheart. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Ellen, I'm sorry, but I. I I'm. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> bounty hunter.
newspaper. Uh. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? Ellen, I, I'm sorry, but I, I I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. Hold oh, still, woman. You are a piece of work. Now, come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. So, what do you got for me? <clears throat> Don't you manhandle me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's go for a ride. Come on, pal. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl, R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but a jail... A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from... This the help you're looking for? You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. I ain't falling for it. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. That's more like it. Hush. this board you want to make an enemy we're coming up on the jailhouse anything else you want to try on me just get me there you're no fun at all I'm afraid I ain't good work pal
You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. Hey there, partner. No more raising hell from you this time, you hear me? Listen, you won't get no trouble out of me. Uh-huh. New marksman in town. Welcome. Let's have a look. If you need anything else, let me know. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Essential, I reckon. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Dangerous. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? 
Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Really? you caused enough trouble huh beating up half the saloon like that come on there's got to be a fight every night in that shithole just show some respect next time we run far worse than you out of town before oh come on man someone throws a punch you punch back don't bother pretending different some reason. Well, good for you. Well, I'll leave you to it. Bye now. Easy now. It's me. Wondered when you'd roll back in. <laughs> hey, how you getting on there, John? Good. Oh, there he is. Mm. He's finest. Finest pretty. <laughs> Don't irritate me, boy. Yeah. Ruin my fine features. <laughs> Thank you. For saving me. I know you'd save me. Of course. I owe you. For life. Warner. You and Arthur. Hope that's not all your blood. Ah, good morning, Arthur. You did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. How long 
Adler. Morning. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Appreciate it, Pearson. Morning to you. Arthur? How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. If you say so. Hey there. All right there, son? Uncle Dutch. You okay? Good morning, Arthur. Good morning to you. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Anyone gonna play some dominoes with me? Hey, why not? I'm watching you like a hawk, Matthews. What are you insinuating? I am a man of honor. You're a con man. Pretty hard to cheat at dominoes. You can cheat at anything. Well, that might be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Ain't this fun? All right, Dan. That's a domino. Good. Here, how much, I'm afraid. Bessie and I would play this for hours back in the day. I remember. I think she might have even taught me to play. You know, you might be right. A lifetime ago. Sure feels like it. Good to feel normal again, just for a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'll pass. Pass. All right. Not much for you here. Oh, come on. Where do you got to be? Hey, folks. Hi. 
I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? Well, you're right about that. Okay, then. Always good to see you. Morning, Arthur. Hey, fellas. We got a spot for you here, Arthur. Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. Hi there. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> you okay? Just taking a break. You good there? Of course. Why? Well, you always are. Thanks, Arthur. A break from what, you lazy son of a bitch? You know, you ought to stuff some cow chips in that foul mouth of yours. I'm only joking with you. Ah, <laughs> you're quite the entertainer. <laughs> Just drink the stuff. They also use it. And those blow up okay? Sure. If you get the rag in right, get it all properly soaked. <laughs> yeah, get us a bottle of whiskey. I'll make you a few. Maybe. Yes. Compared to you drinking, little explosion is nothing. <sighs> Shut up. Impressive. Mr. Morgan, leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you, too, English. It ain't just for you. Whatever you say. Hey, Arthur. What you want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Oh, only when I see you. Hey there. Hi there. Hey, Pierce. Hi there. Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It seems awful. And then it seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations. But what was it? Was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle. 
Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. Ah, Lenny. Morning. We have to keep the faith, right? What else is there? Exactly. We ain't done until we're done. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm... Well... Listen, sorry. You mind if we talk about this later? Okay. Sorry. No problem. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Come on now, boy. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party then? Oh, shut up. What did I say? Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right. Well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Follow me.
Time to go, boy. Whoa, easy. Here. Hold it right there. Someone, help! Don't be a fool now. Uh, you deaf or something? What ain't you getting? What the hell do you want from me? I won't ask again. There's no reason for this. I presume that means yes. Don't make me come looking for you. Oh, my God! Shit like this always happens. You're a sad case. Okay, boy. Come here. Hello, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. You okay, boy? Hey, boy. Hello, boy. Come here.
Okay, settle down there. Go. Go. I'm going already. Yeah. Hey there, mister. How are you? Hey, friend. A few kills there, nice. I didn't come out to kill an elephant. You all right there? Who put a rock in the middle of the road? Hey, 
You there? Aye. Would you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Uh, sure. You're a kind man. I'll be back. Fit as a fiddle. Boss ain't gonna be happy about this. Maybe sit down and wait it out, huh? Howdy. That ain't so special. I don't think you're going anywhere for a while. Okay, fella. Who's this coward? Go prove whatever it is you're fixing to prove someplace else. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. You need to find a new hobby, friend. Always welcome at the Welcome Center, yes. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? All right. Head on over when you're ready. Thanks, partner. Look out, mister. Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now relax. Whenever you're done, just say the word. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Oh, sure.
you let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. Uh, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Oh, you. All right. I think I'm good. Thank you, and goodbye. like a good bath, huh? Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. You got any dynamite? Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars! See if you can pull them off! What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. There'll be more law here any minute. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Pick your bundle law, do you?
Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. <laughs> God damn maniac! I should have left you to hang! Send them all out! Come on! Everything you got! We should be long gone by now! They got something of mine I ain't leaving without! It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat oh. sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! We've really lost it this time.
was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you.
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, pal. If you ain't looking for gold, partner, I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Jose, how are you? Don't even think about saying I cheated.
this stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. This should be some real good eating. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morgan. I run into a whole series of messes. But well, we will get to the promised land, and we will be fine. And for those of you who doubt it, you'll be the ones who won't make it. You can trust me on that. It's trust. North to south, trust. That's all I'm saying. Ah, Uncle. Woo, Arthur! Gentlemen. Hey. Hello, Arthur. Nobody can say you ain't loyal, Bill. Hello. Without that, what is there? Hey, y'all. Hello, Arthur. There he is. Hello. Okay, Mr. Morgan. How's it going? You don't want to know. We'll be all right. We always are. Killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Yeah, Miss Roberts. Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you awake? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Come on, I ain't serious. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. The wrong woman to mess with. How much you had to drink? Morning. 
Gonna join me here? Why don't you sit, Arthur? Poor old as had a wife, to mourn for his life. Three children, they were brave. Stop acting so keen, kid. You been drinking again? Take it easy. I'm just kidding with you. I don't know why you do that stuff. Greatest grub slinger in the West. Somebody's had a pitbull. Only way to start the day. Hi. Hey, Abigail. Hey. Mr. Marston. Good morning, Arthur. But answer me this. If Miller is a fraud, is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. <laughs> he's very ornamental, as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Uh, Miller's a slave to a uh, slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. Good you morning, are Arthur. Too harsh a critic. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. Okay, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi, lady. Hey. Morning. Morning, Arthur. I do like talking with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Miss Jones? Hey. Dutch. Hello. The man with the plan. How many have you had? You always see us through. All right, then. Molly. Arthur. A smile wouldn't kill you. You're drunk. Hey, fellas. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. You got any more of that navy rum? Not right now, sorry. Well... Probably for the best. Sure. Well, hey, John. Why don't you just sit down? My brother. Are you drunk? It's been quite a ride. Yep. Jack. Morning, Uncle Arthur. Yes. Good morning, Arthur. You okay? 
I'm bored. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Let me know if you find candy. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like...
You. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Morning. You can just sit, you know. Been quite a ride the past few weeks. You can say that again. Well, just got to keep moving on. You good? Hey. Hello. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Get the hell up! Hi! What is it? Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. Oh, just go away. Oh. Morning, to you. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. All right, Arthur. How you doing, boy?
kim jesteś? I am here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. Uh, nie mam pieniędzy. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Don't even speak English. Somewhere. Uh, very valuable, good. Not good yet. You must have come here with something. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. What you got behind there? So, surprise, I mean, you know, move aside.
Okay, fella. Yep. So up now. Yeah. Easy now. Idiot. Yeah. Easy, easy. Away from me now! Fuera! Malditos Pumas! Ay, mierda! No me quedan balas! Damn good shooting, senor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio.
See?
What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. And you could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot. Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Good. Ha. There she is. That's my boy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Get yourself cleaned up. Come on. Pathetic user. Hey. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Dutch. Hello. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. We're gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, right. I'm good at that. I... Uh, I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. We've done that before. 
<laughs> I know. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are going to be here. Okay. Hello, Mr. Arthur. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Hello. Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes, and we can always make more money. We'll be okay. Miss Karen, how you getting on? Problems you shout out, Lenny. You okay? Keep your eyes open for any trouble. Of course. Well, you don't need me distracting you. This is turning into one of them days. Hey there! Ain't nobody got a heart. Hello, mister. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! Hello. Hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Well, I ain't promising nothing, but I'll see what I can do. 
There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Maybe he'll see reason now.
Want some, huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Let's go, boy. Get in quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. Goodness. Welcome back. Damn me. I hear Annenberg's got the pox again. So Hope I heard. Hope enjoy eating that. Pleasure doing business with you. with those antics I have the time we off work now and the here. doctors got me oh oh hey friend remember me hey you look familiar hey Wallace this here's the kind soul I was telling you about the one that uh got the venom out of your <clears> leg <throat> mm -hmm. I guess so listen friend I know I can never repay you but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab oh well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being so hey, straight. What can I do for you? Fitter outside told me I could grab oh something on his tire. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now.
Hey. Time to go, boy. Now why are you raising hell on me? Hey, mister. Hello there. Whew, sure is some hard country around these parts. Best up, boy. You draw iron in front of me. Well, you better not good luck use to you. it. Bye. No need to check on me, mister. I'm still here. I hope you thought about what you done. I hope you thought about what you done. Hey, mister. Hey. Hey, mister. I sure hope your hell-raising days are behind you. I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. All the best now. Goodbye. Hey, fella. Hello, sir. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. 
Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Hey, state your business. Just calm down. Yeah. Hey, partner. Okay there, boy.
in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Hey, hey! Just had to ask for help, huh? Whoa, easy. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and, and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But, of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. I, if your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere? Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! I was doing just fine by myself! See, this is crazy! You're the crazy one! For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! 
This is none of your damn business! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, mister! What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool? I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. <sighs> That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long...
time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? A nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. We're different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. The 
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Looks familiar. You want to start something? Partner? Hey, folks. Good evening. Evening. Back for some more provisions? Have a look around. Now, let me have a look. Keep looking. Let me know if there's anything else. Sure, I'm always willing to stock up. Kids or tales of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Uh, hey there, partner. You idiot. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on.
Arthur. Miss Kath, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, but go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope, that hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up, all of you, cheer up. You okay? Yeah, just fed up with all the pessimism around here. Lenny. Hey, Arthur. Everything okay? Always. Not the best, I'll be honest. You and me both. Arthur Morgan. Hi, Arthur. My lady. Not oh, you again. Hi there. Too many snot-nosed kids, they make the biscuits fly. I wouldn't marry a school mom. 
arm, I'll tell you the reason why. Her neck's so long and stringy, I'm afraid she'll never die. I wouldn't marry Gershon's girl, I'll tell you the reason why. She went and Mrs. shaved Adler. the bread tray. Hi oh, there, Arthur. How are you holding up? <laughs> it's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. All right, Arthur. Good old Bill. Hello, Arthur. Don't get too comfortable now. I won't. Well, rest while you can. We got work to do soon. All right, Morgan. Javier. Hello, Arthur. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Hey, Arthur. How you boys doing? Good, boss. How about you? Oh, I am okay, son. I'm okay. It's interesting. You know, that thing Evelyn Miller says, I ain't your king. Hey, Arthur. Hosea. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. All right, Arthur. If we didn't lie yet, I love that. Huh. I don't quite get it. You will, son. You will. Enjoy your... How are you? I can't complain. Well, yeah. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Good morning. Stop sleeping. What's going on? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. to it. Okay. Hey there. Morning, Arthur.
John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Found good, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Why don't you sit a while, Arthur? Here's some whiskey. If you can make me some of those fire bottles. Of course. Anything for you, English. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll leave them by your tent. Arthur. Hi, Karen. Morning to you. Hello.
Never comes. Gonna need it. Hello there. Would you be able to help me out again? I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, sure. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. 
You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You have been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll Not be getting again. back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Okay, boy. I ain't gonna hurt you. Shh, easy now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're okay. Hey, come back! Whoa, whoa, wait! Come on! Hey! Stay calm. Go easy! Whoa! Whoa! Eat! Whoa! Yeah, let's try that again now. It's okay. Nice and easy. <laughs> there we are. Okay, now. Settle down. Easy, easy. Easy. Ah, uh, that's right, girl.
there, girl. All right, girl. Yeah. Come on, follow me. Yeah. Okay, girl. Who is that? It's me, Arthur. Welcome back, Arthur. him boy now, Phil. He don't like that no more. <laughs> Sorry, Dutch. All right now. Whoa. Okay, boy. Shh. Easy. Go easy, boy. Whoa. Now, easy. This way. Come on. Hey. Hi, Arthur. Hey, Sean. Hey, fellas. Join the party here, Morgan. Leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you, too, English. Hiya. Ah, the old top. Yeah. Impressive.
John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Hi, Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Well, I should get back to it. I guess. Hi, Molly. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Fire going here, Arthur. Hello, sirs. Hey there. Hey. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. First, 
We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Ah, too slow there. Bad luck. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. I think you've got a bite. Look. Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Uncle Arthur. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. I like the look of that spot. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Fish on the line. I see. I see. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little 
Old-fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Look, rabbits are out. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Boys get known. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. See by the fire, Arthur. Hard to believe you've only been with us for less than a year. A lot's happened. Well, stick with us. We need you. Yep. You okay? Hey there. That ambition will see you far. Thanks, Arthur. Just keep a calm head on your shoulders. All right, Arthur. About time you rested up. You need to let loose once in a while, Mr. Smith. Was that right? Wouldn't kill you. All right. Old man. Hey. I'm about as drunk as you are when you wake up. <laughs> Very funny. Good evening. Hi. You're a quick way to sober up. Oh, don't start with me. 
Mr. Williamson. Evening, Arthur. The one and only Bill Williamson. Uh-oh. Morgan's had a drink. One of a kind, all right. All right. A fine evening. Hi. You gonna join me for a drink? Sure, Arthur. I'd love to. No. Nah. Sorry, changed my mind. Yep, all right, man. See ya. Sadie! Hi. You're one of us now. <laughs> You've been drinking. So I'll leave it there. All right then, Arthur. Mr. Strauss. Evening, Mr. Morgan. The penner from Vienna. Have you been drinking? What would we do without you? Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Matthews. Anything I need to know about? Yeah. Well, you know where I am. <laughs> Most of the time. See you later. So am I. Dare she? Have a nice evening. Hi, Arthur. I don't know what in there. I've been such a fool. I've been such a fool. Good. There he is. Morning, Arthur. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. Just know we're watching you. All right, then. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. Morning. You got guard duty again? I like it.
I ain't no innkeeper. Chew the cud somewhere else. Just minding my own business. Yep. the simpleton out of the asylum. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? 
Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Go easy on them horses, will you? See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha, ha, ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. 
That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. All right. Get on that Bastard. train. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. be ready. You'll get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. Don't I don't want to get hit. I'll do anything. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come Maybe on! What you got, we ain't leaving until this bag's full! Get robbed, Mr. I ain't got get everything nothing. Everything you got. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please, please, What's the problem me? here? This is unnecessary. Please. Honey, oh, pay him! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, God everything you it. got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna count them. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You boys make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting time? You show this time, son of a huh? bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Tell Monte Sauvage. This is unnecessary. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I am adverse to conflict, my dear. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Why don't I help me? What is it? You all right? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. to cover. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I oh, just see a pair of them. Oh, in that case, uh, uh, funny. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. That there's a few more of them torn up. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Come <laughs> on. 
That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 
Any trouble at all, Sean? You holler. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. So we did pretty well out of that train job, but the law showed up real fast. Too fast? It sure seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Hey, Pearson. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Tilly. Good morning. 